Mayhem and Hideouts here. Um, something that I've always been interested in is summer camps. I never got to go to one when I was a kid. I never got to participate in really any like summer camp activities. So I compiled a list of activities to do this summer and I want to share that list with you today so that when I do videos based on them you're not confused about why they have summer camp in the title. Um, yeah. Uh, first thing, friendship bracelets. I've made friendship bracelets before. I made them in school, but I don't really make them now. I make lanyards, really. I'm sorry if you can hear the puppies in the background. We have uh, six newborn puppies. They're not really newborn. They're three weeks old now, but... They're constantly adorable, and I love them each in their own unique way, but they are loud, and I have to have the sunroom door open to try and keep an eye on them to make sure they're not dying. And then this one right here, this is my Reno Beano. You guys have seen him before. Um, he doesn't really like the puppies, and the puppies don't really like him. And the mom of the puppies doesn't really like Reno. <laughs> oh, are you stressed out because I'm holding you? Yeah, you're stressed out because I'm holding you. I'm sorry, buddy. Here you go. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what's going on in my life this last couple weeks is puppies, 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 and more puppies. <laughs> Uh, tell ghost stories. Um, I, we used to tell ghost stories at sleepovers, but it's not, but they were always the same, basically the same story over and over and over. And I would like to hear some new, unique ghost stories. And I feel like adults are better at that than kids are because kids, you only know the six basic plot lines, right? Because there are only six basic plot lines, I believe. And that might be wrong. Now that I think about that, I think that's wrong. But I think as a kid, you only know like a few plot lines and they're all like the same. So yeah, uh, nodding. So this is different than friendship bracelets because I love like sailor knots. And that's something that's always interested me and something that I want to work on. Uh, spend the day on the water slash at the beach. I actually did this the other day. And I actually did this a couple times as a teenager. And it's super fun and super relaxing and super good. Um, I'm going to do a video where I do some tips and tricks for you. And you guys can see that. Um, yeah. Um, go camping. I love camping. Camping is one of the best activities you possibly can do during the summer and it's one of those things sorry I'm scratching my dog one of those things that um just brings me so much joy whenever I go and do it like I didn't get to go camping until I was almost 17 right we did backyard camping growing up but we didn't do like drive two hours into the middle of the woods to go camping camping because my parents were like three kids is too much to do that with and I missed out because my brothers got to go camping as kids and I didn't so now I love camping and every chance I get I go camping uh pitch a tent slash build a fort um I put this on here separately from camping because camping you can sleep in your car. You can just lay down the back seat and sleep there if you really wanted to. Um, yeah, and then I put slash build a fort because I know not everybody loves camping the way I love camping. So you could build a pillow fort in your living room or your bedroom and call it good. Uh, build a fire. 
Um, I put this on here because I have never built a fire 100% by myself. Um, I've always had help. Um, and I don't mean like help like gathering kindling and gathering the wood, right? Because everybody at the campsite should be doing that because it's only fair. I mean, I haven't been able to stack the kindling, stack the wood, take the lighter and light it up myself because I've always been slightly a little scared too, so I put this on here to help me get over that fear. Uh, make s'mores. Um, you can make s'mores a hundred and billion different ways. Um, the easiest or not the easiest, but the best way to do it is over an open campfire. But you can do it in the oven, you can do it in the microwave. That's easy. Um, in the oven, slightly better than the microwave. Just my professional opinion there. My unprofessional opinion there? It's not professional because I don't make money off of it. You know what I'm saying, though. Stargazing. Stargazing is such an amazing thing to do when you're camping. And if you can't leave, if there's too much light pollution where you live and you can't get anywhere where there is no light pollution, I always recommend just Googling star maps and drawing them out. Draw them out yourself and you'll learn like the names of the stars and you can see the Big Dipper and you can draw the Big Dipper and you can color it the way you want to color it and it's super fun. Uh, flower crowns. For those of you who don't know, I own 14 flower crowns and I wear them on a daily basis when I go out. Just about. Um, it's been a really warm summer here, so I haven't really been wearing them because they go right across my forehead and just cause so much sweat and it's gross and they get grody and they're hard to wash. But you can make flower crowns by picking wildflowers and stringing them together. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end up doing this one because we don't have a lot of wildflowers where I live. We have dandelions, and for those of you who don't know, a dandelion is a weed, and I don't want to make a flower crown out of those. Uh, make a wind chime. Um, I've always wanted to make my own wind chime because it just seemed like my mom had hundreds of wind chimes growing up, and they were all throughout the backyard and the front yard, and they were always so pretty and I always wanted to make one because of that. Tie-dye. Uh, Tie-dyeing is a really great thing. You can go into any craft store and buy a kit and it's usually about 20 bucks plus you have to buy your t-shirts and whatever you're tie-dyeing. Uh, bake, cook something, bake slash cook something new. Um, this is something I always strive to do at least once a month because trying new foods is something that brings me joy because you have to eat to live, right? But you should also enjoy what you're eating. Uh, make a sundial. Uh, I made a sundial when I was in second grade and it got destroyed like on the way home because it like fell apart. And I've always wanted to remake it because it was one of my favorite projects we did in school. Uh, make homemade Play-Doh. I've done this once before in middle school for a project. And it was super fun and super easy. And there's hundreds of homemade Play-Doh recipes on Pinterest. So yeah. Uh, paint rocks. A couple years ago, I got a rock painting kit for... Christmas and it's been sitting there kind of slightly unused. I did a couple rocks, but I haven't used the entire kit and I bought some new river rocks to paint and stuff. So I feel like I should do that for you guys. Show you some of the designs I come up with, show you some of the supplies I have for it and give you some inspiration. Um 
a paper pinwheel. Now the only paper, the paper pinwheels I keep finding don't spin and I want to make one that spins, but I may not be able to because that are just really hard to find. Uh, a dream catcher. I've never made a dream catcher, but my mom had a dream catcher in the car and I have a dream catcher above my bed now. And I just want to make my own to try and see if that'll help. Uh, make homemade ice cream. Uh, this is actually kind of easy. I've done it once before when I was in kindergarten. It was at a day camp. So I guess I kind of did a summer camp thing, but not, like, I don't remember it. Like, I remember certain things. I remember doing it with my friend Cody. I remember... My mom would drop us off. His mom would pick us up. And I remember making ice cream and I remember crushing graham crackers for something, but that's all I remember. Uh, paper fans. It is summer. It is hot. This is something that I think will help a lot of people. Uh, do fireworks. The 4th of July just passed and a lot of people do fireworks there. Or you can go to a fireworks show, or you can just Google fireworks and lots of things will pop up for you. Um, go swimming. This brings me back up to... Say hi. Say hi, little guy. Say hi. Are you gonna make noise for me? You were making noise a minute ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you were making noise a minute ago. Oh, there we go. He doesn't like being held. But, you know, you need to hold them so they're used to humans and socialized enough and stuff. I'll go put him back with mom in a moment.